Welcome back everybody to From the Bench and today I got a Mega of Mosaic. Uh, obviously not finding this in retail. Uh, this is something I found at my local card shop, DM Sports. Um, and I decided, you know what? Let's buy it, let's rip it. I really enjoy Mosaic. Um, I like the look of the cards, everything else. So I said, you know what? They had one before, I didn't grab it. I regret not grabbing it, so uh, we'll go from here. So we get the sleeve on it, pop it out of the sleeve right there. Uh, so this is four cards per pack, 10 packs per box, uh, as you can kind of read from there. And it should give us, um, what was the other thing about it? That's it. So you can get rookie scripts, uh, all that stuff in there too. And kid reporters, not that anybody uses those, and they're all uh, expired, so. Uh, silver and mosaic parallels, three of them per box on average. So, uh, you get fillers, gotta love megas. They just make a bigger box for no reason at all. Just to give us some packs in the middle. I guess it protects them. Makes it so you can't, hopefully they're not all banged up, but there we go. This is actually the first mega I've ever opened, uh, for mosaic. A lot of mosaic. I was having a hard time finding product. This is kind of like early dog days for me of trying to find retail product before I kind of figured out how it kind of works uh, around here. There's you know, mostly getting picked up by other people, but um, yeah, here we go. So first one, Chris Godwin, Super Bowl champion. Mark Andrews, Pro Bowl. We got a green reactive Saquon. So we got, there we go, get a veteran for the green reactive. And then behind him is an old school Randy Moss. So not the start you want, um, but we'll throw Saquon up there. Saquon, we'll go right there. Uh, today's lineup, decided to bring out some mosaic heat and all this. So we got Joey B, first overall pick uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Holding on to a couple of Joey B cards until the start of the season. Well, he's still just low. Like, Nothing against, uh, obviously, I like Herbert. I'm a Chargers fan. Uh, but I find, like, they, people forget how good he was because <laughs> there's no reason why Herbert should be going for 2x of what Burrow is going for. You know what I mean? Uh, so we get Raquan Smith, Patrick Queen. There's a rookie. And we got Zeke. So back-to-back -back running backs in the green reactive. And then we got... Touchdown Masters for Dalvin Cook. So, throw another one. Uh, but yeah, so we got Joey B. We got Tua for the Dolphins. I'm holding on to some Tua stuff too. I just think we're going to get to the point where <laughs> people are going to start saying, you know, well, look at Tua in the off, you know, in the off season. He's throwing better than ever. Uh, coaches said he's, he looks like he's a brand new player. Kind of, and the guy came off a really bad injury last year, right? So you're talking, yes, maybe he didn't perform as good as he probably should have. Um, but new system, weird off season, and like I said, he's coming off that big injury. So we got, there you go, Chase Claypool, Canadian boy like myself, uh, in the NFL D. But we got, oh, there was our script. So our auto is a Rashawn Evans, Rashawn Evans. Uh, for the Tennessee Titans. There we go. We got another debut in the green mosaic. They did, but there we go. Jerry Judy in the green mosaic. And then, who that, that was maybe not that bad. A little bit off center, maybe, but uh, Zeke, Amari, and Dak. In the green mosaic flea flicker. So we're gonna grab got a couple sleeves here. Gonna put that Jerry in one. Gonna put the auto one in one. Let's see what we can get here. And we'll get rid of nothing against Saquon and Zeke. But I wanna know everyone's opinion. My opinion on first round running backs is it's not a great idea. Not that they're not talented. That is not the issue at all. Uh, for me, 
a lot of the first round and the value in a first round draft pick uh, is how much cheaper they are than their counterparts. Now you can go with that, you know, one of many ways. Uh, but I just think with running backs that the value of a running back and what you pay most your running backs in the secondary market isn't much different than what you're going to pay them on a rookie scale. But if you're talking like a left tackle, if you're talking um, a receiver, if you're talking, you know, big end defensive ends, stuff like that, uh, those all go, you know, those guys are making huge money, way more than any running back. So the value um, is a big thing. So uh, that's the way I look at my first round draft picks is a lot of it's just value. So um, throw Chase Claypool in here too. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. Uh, you guys can check out our draft coverage too, leading up to the NFL draft. We're going to be talking about all this kind of stuff. Who we think should go where, why I don't think you should ever take a rookie running back in the first round. It is what it is. Um, it's like tight, tight ends. Like, can I take a tight end? Like, what's the most expensive tight end in the league? Kelsey Kittle? That's okay. I'll, I'll pass on taking a them. Uh, so we got Travis Kelsey. There we go. Speak of the devil. Uh, we got, there we go, Derek Brown. I got three or four of these cards from breaks because they always seem to hit the Panthers. We got Chris Godwin, another rookie, or another uh, veteran for the gr green mosaic. And then the silver, Jason Witten for the Raiders. That's not the silver you want. But... Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, love the draft. Love everything about it. Uh, another thing I love growing up was Jeopardy. And today I'm wearing the jersey of the man that may one day become the new host of Jeopardy full-time. Mr. Aaron Rodgers, discount and double check himself. Um, it'd be cool to see. He's hosted some episodes, recorded them early. Uh, Jerry, in the Hall of Fame. Tony Gonzalez. And these veterans in the green mosaic. And then Darius Leonard in the gut game. So so far, pretty over pretty over pretty underwhelming. Um, but little by little. We're getting to the good stuff. All the good stuff's at the back. The second half of this, so. If I can find some stuff, I'll always try to rip it for you guys. I've wanted to rip some of this for a while. Oh, we got a silver before. I was like, why do we get two Jason Witten in the base? Uh, Gabriel Davis. There you go. So, those are pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, man, the surface of these cards. Right there. We got J.K. Dobbins, the green reactive. We got Will to Win, Larry Fitz. J.K. Dobbins pretty good. Picked J.K. Dobbins up in my bunch of my fantasy leagues because I was like, he's a rookie running back. They're probably going to feed him the rock. He played pretty good. Obviously, not having their other guy there anymore. That's kind of make it so he's the main guy. But Max Crosby, Cole Komet. How could we not get a Cole Komet? It seems like he was in every box of Mosaic I've ever seen ripped. We got Juju. Doing his little dance over there. And then another will to win. This one's Peyton, the sheriff. Three packs left. Uh, let's see what we get here. We need a quarterback. We need a Burrow. We need a Tua. We need a Herbert. In particular, Herbert. I'm all for getting a good, another good Herbert. A pretty good little collection. But Mark Ingram. Oh, Joshua Kelly, not the charger we want. Uh, we got Allen Robinson and then the silver Steve Largent. Sure. <laughs> oh, that is Steve Largent. That is something. That is my John Stockton of <laughs> basketball hoops. 
in the tribute. I think I got more John Stockton than anybody. Dan Marino, I got a huge collection of him now and all this new year product. Uh, Khalees Campbell, no longer with the Jags. And then an old school of Julius Peppers. So last pack. Just want to put this out here. This is not a cheap opening. This is like Canadian, like in the mid 200s by the time I had tax and everything. So we need a big hit right here. Make it worth it. Uh, TJ Hawkinson, Lynn Bowden Jr. <sighs> Joshua Kelly, Keenan Allen. Uh, not a rookie, Leonard Fournette. Ugh. So, that one hurt a little bit. Uh, what's our hits out of this? Jerry, we got J.K. Dobbins, um, the green mosaic. I'll have to sell that to my buddy Brad, who's a big uh, Ravens fan. Let's see if he can grab that Gabriel Davis. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of uh, good going in this. Um, definitely, definitely probably not making my way back on that one. Am I not? Probably not. I mean, like, I'm not for sure. Um, but yeah, that was, like I said, it's always fun to rip. I haven't got a chance to rip Mosaic. Um, I've shown you guys a lot. I got a lot of Mosaic, but it's because I've been in breaks where it was Mosaic. Um, but yeah, put through uh, JFK up there. So that's our big hits for the break um let me know what you guys think what was your as a favorite project of the year obviously selects out now people like select um but did you like prism do you like optic did you like mosaic this year for football which one was which one was it that you liked the most uh let me know in the comments make sure you like and subscribe for eric from the bench i'll check you guys next time bye guys